from Indy's streaming news leader. This is a WRTV update. I'm WRTV's Caitlin Kendall. Here's your latest headlines. Two men are in the hospital following an overnight crash in Lawrence. Officers were called to Boy Scout Road near Fort Bend State Park around 1.30 this morning and we're told one of them had to be cut out of the car. Both were taken to the hospital in serious condition and police say they do believe alcohol played a role in the crash. More Indiana Task Force One members are headed to North Carolina this morning. Task Force One officials say they are deploying a team with hazmat equipment to Asheville. The area was one of the hardest hit by the aftermath of Helene, and Indiana Task Force One also shared photos of the search and rescue canine team. These dogs help locate missing people, but they also provide comfort and support to storm victims. The Indianapolis Marion County Forensic Services Agency says it is trying to catch up to a big backlog of evidence. The agency's director says the goal is to process DNA and guns within 42 days. But on average, it's taking roughly 241 days to process DNA evidence and 181 days for guns. The director says to help the agency with the delay, they are hoping to outsource non-high profile cases. Funding for that would come from the city's 2025 budget if it is approved this month. Todd? Temperatures today will be climbing into the mid to upper 70s for afternoon highs. You throw in completely sunny skies, light winds, and low humidity has the making of a terrific uh, Thursday and a terrific fall day for us. If you have plans this evening, it does cool off into the 60s pretty quickly once the sun sets. That's at 723. And then we'll continue to see those temperatures cool off into the 40s overnight tonight uh, with some 50s on the map, so not quite as cooled as it's been the past couple mornings, uh, but still very, very comfortable. Then as we look ahead to your day tomorrow, we get back up close to right around 80 degrees with lots of sunshine, and then we'll maintain temperatures in the 80s for the weekend. High school football uh, this Friday evening looks to be terrific with lots of sunshine to start and then clear skies and with temperatures falling into the 60s.